Hello everybody. Today is April 19th, 2018. The X470 chipset has just been released. I just received my box from Newegg that has a couple of Asus ROG Crosshair 7 Hero motherboards inside. So let's open it up, take a look. We'll see what's on inside the motherboard boxes and then do a quick overview of the motherboard itself going over some of the features nice looking box red and black theme going on some useless paperwork nice graphics and reflective print all around the box red and black theme carried throughout. Back of the box has a few pictures of the motherboard even showing off the RGB lighting and it has a list of the features and specifications for the board. I do have two of these boards. They are both the same. They are the non Wi-Fi version of this board. In this household however there are two versions of this board. His and hers. Now let's get on with the unboxing. When you open the top of the box, you will see a pop-up that has the Republic of Gamers logo and a piece of plastic holding the motherboard into the motherboard tray. So we'll remove the plastic to give us a closer look at this beautiful motherboard that is sharp okay so obviously with the black theme going on here looking real sharp real nice pull the tray out it's got the motherboard in it the motherboard is not in any kind of bag anti-static or otherwise you have a full sheet of Republic of Gamer stickers our ROG coaster your disk with your drivers and such on it cable mod 20 percent off coupon the code is on the back this is a thank you card from ASUS for purchasing a Republic of Gamers product the divider in the motherboard box holds your users manual <clears throat> So the user's manual looks like this. In the bottom of the box we have a few goodies. We have a SLI bridge. M.2 screw. Quick connector for your case cabling. A second M.2 screw. And a few packages of cables. So let's see what we got. We got two serial ATA cables, both of them being black. Two more serial ATA cables. That's a total of four. Then we have a RGB cable and a programmable RGB cable. Let's take the motherboard out of the tray and get a closer look. There's a finger hole in the back to push it out. Remove that. Again, this is a really great looking motherboard. You got your LED readout numbers in the top right. Big IO shield with RGB lighting underneath. Obviously, this is a Republic of Gamers themed board, so you have that logo and theme all over. So this is the AM4 socket, supports second generation Ryzen. This is your chipset. Under there is your X470 chipset. There's also RGB underneath there. You have four memory slots. 64 gigs max up to 
uh, DDR4-3466. You have the single clip memory slot design. Here you have three PCI Express slots. It does support two card SLI and three way crossfire. Under this Republic of Gamers heatsink is your first M.2 slot. And just below the chipset is your second M.2 slot. And over on the right hand side of the board, you have your six serial ATA connectors. Bottom left hand side of the board is your Supreme FX audio chipset. Your IO shield with crosshair 7 and RGB lighting. Your two power connectors for CPU power fan headers, water pump headers, USB headers, you name it. Alright, so the back I.O. shield has a CMOS reset, a BIOS reset, PS2 mouse or keyboard port, two USB 2.0 ports, one you can use to flash your BIOS, eight USB 3 ports, two USB 3.1 ports, one of which is a Type-C. You have your Gigabit LAN. You have your five connectors for your 7.1 audio or 8-channel audio. You have your digital out. Okay, here's everything that came in the box, including the motherboard. It is a great looking setup. Can't wait to get my system built with this. Processor should be here tomorrow. I will be posting a time-lapse video of my build using a 2700X, this Crosshair 7 motherboard, Founders Edition 1070, G-Skill memory in a NZXT S340 Elite case. So please make sure to check that out. Hopefully have that posted in the next couple of days. Just one final thing to take care of before I end this video, got to get rid of this plastic. Appreciate you watching this video. Thanks again. Have a great day.